Shalom, servants of light. This week's Torah portion is number 37, Shalach Lecha, Sinned for Yourself. I'm going to just zero in really quickly. If you blink your eyes, you'll miss it. In numbers. Also, kind of pull in Joshua as well, because they both had to deal with spies, and they're both dealing with faith. Have you ever received the word from God and it seemed like giants or walls may try to prevent you from receiving what God has said he would give you? Well, that's what this Torah portion is all about. God made a promise. God gave them the keys to the land. But what we have to do is hold on to faith, even though the majority may say something else. It's impossible. We can't do it. You can't do it. All God needs is one. Two is fine. But one, as the scripture in Deuteronomy 32 and verse 30 says, one of you can chase a thousand for the Lord, your God is the one who fights for you. Giants, Goliaths, walls, they are there to strengthen. They are there to build up our faith. They are there to turn us <laughs> into the incredible hawk to make that faith rise up and say, yes, I can have all that God has promised for me. Everything that's worth having comes with a struggle covered in faith. In Numbers, the scriptures bring out that Moses changes Hosea, the son of Nun's name to Yehoshua. Hosea means salvation, but Moshe, foreseeing the word of God and them going out on this spying out mission of promise, put the name of Yah before Hosea, Yahoshua. That's the Strong's Hebrew number 3091. It is the equivalent to the New Testament Jesus name, 2424 in your Strong's Greek concordance. It points right back to this 3091 Yahoshua. So Joshua and Jesus had the same exact name. The first part of his name being Yah and the second part Yesha meaning Yah saves. So it's not just salvation, which is what Hosea means, but it is Yah who saves, Yahoshua. It is in his name we must have faith to overcome all challenges that will be brought our way. In order to be the conquerors that God has called us to be, we must be equipped with the word of truth. We must be equipped, covered, clothed, in the armor, which is Yahshua. We are clothed in Messiah Yahshua. We are clothed in salvation, not just any salvation, but the salvation from the most high. Yah himself fights for us. He goes with us. So in a way, I like to look at that as Moses encouraging Hosea by calling him Yahoshua, reminding him that Yah is your hope. Yah is your salvation and your deliverance. No matter what giants you may face, no matter what obstacles are in your way, if Yah gives you a word of promise, stand on his name. Put Yah first, Hosea. Put Yah first. Like the scripture says, put my name on them and I will bless them. Yah goes before us. Yahshua. Yah's deliverance, Yah's salvation. He goes before us. No matter if we're going through to spy out the land of promise, no matter if we're making our way to the promise that walls of Jericho may try to hide and prevent us from reaching, by faith we can overcome all things. And that is that the Lord fights for us. He carries us through it all. We can make it through this world because God goes before us. Because his name we stand on, that sound foundation, that solid rock, the hope of Israel, Yahshua, Yah saves. As this Torah portion is called, sin for yourself, sin for yourself, Yahshua. He goes before us. And quickly in Numbers chapter 13 and verse 4, the Lord instructs Moses to pick specific people from each of the 12 tribes to go forth and search out the land. Now, I just want you to see the first one from the tribe of Reuben, Shamua, the son of Zakor. Now let's look at Reuben, Shamua, and Zakor. The first thing that God wants us to do before we begin our journey, before we go forward, 
we must first ruban, meaning behold or see the sun, see Yahshua. Second, Shemua. That name means he is renowned, famously known or talked about by many people, celebrated. Hallelujah. That is who Yahshua is. So we are to behold the renowned one, the one that is celebrated. Hallelujah. Lastly, he's the son of Zakor, meaning to be mindful. Call to mind. Remember who goes with us. So behold the son. Celebrate him. Don't forget that he goes before us to fight for us. But just like Moses changed the name of Hosea to Yahoshua. Hold on. Your name change is coming. Put Yah first. He is our shield. He is our sword. He fights for us and whatever he promised will come to pass. Maybe not when you want it, but it will come to pass. Shabbat Shalom. <music>